Hey folks, welcome to episode 89, 89. of our Run Club, the yes. podcast. Um, That's a lot. Dude, we're 11 away from 100. Yeah. How crazy is that? Yeah. That's nuts. That's going to happen soon. It is. Yeah. In 11 In episodes. 11 weeks. <laughs> well, maybe. We might take a week off, maybe for Christmas. Right. Well, holidays. Maybe for Thanksgiving. Right. But it's coming, baby. It's coming I can, like a hurricane. The train, freight train just They're coming like right train. at me. 100 episodes. Chugging along. Yeah, buddy. And uh, today, though, we're going to talk... We're talking safety kind of all month, right? Right, because we're going to continue on with the safety theme because November is National, National Run Safety Run Month. Safety month. Um, and so today, we thought we would talk a little bit about like alternatives to running outside when the conditions are unsafe. Yeah, like such as darkness, such as icy, snowy conditions, you yeah. know, um, some things that you can do instead to get you off the roads, right? Right. So you're not like around vehicles that are going to slip and slide and not see you and maybe, you know. Exactly. So the idea is to maybe give you some alternatives to going outside and running when right. the weather is terrible or when it's really dark and people can't see you. Yes. So before we get into that, though, I got to know, Ray. Mm -hmm. How's your week been, man? Uh, it's I'm on my comeback. It's my comeback mm -hmm. trail, you know, from from I'm the uh, the ankle sprain. Uh, last week was a good week. I I ran. I was very careful. All right, so you know, don't don't be hard on me or anything like that. You know, yeah. Um, I was careful. I didn't overdo it. Nice. But I did run often. Okay. Um, and I tried to keep it lighter and easier, slower pace. Nice. Fewer miles. Good, good. Just keeping it regular, trying to get back into a consistent routine. Mm -hmm. I got up to five miles. Sweet. Which over like a week? Two over weeks? over over a, um, week? over a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real slow, real controlled. I did um, have to run a couple of times in the darkness, okay. but I was very careful. Mm -hmm. um, I avoided potholes and puddles because I, there was a rainy night that I ran again. Yep. Have to. You I have, have to. to. I mean, sometimes, if the weather's, a, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, you know? and sometimes I have to run at night. I mean, I don't have a t I, I, My schedule doesn't allow me to go until evening time, and it's dark at this right. point. But, um, but I was trying to do the best that I could um, to just be safe. Mm -hmm. Had my headlamp. I was glowing, you know, like a Christmas tree in December. Um, and so, nice. yeah. Glowing like a pregnant lady. Yes, exactly. You had that glow about you. You just looked... I was trying real hard. Yeah. And so it went well. Um, still a little, little swelling in my ankle. A little, some bruising is going away. And okay. so I was trying to lay off of, you know, pain medication, you know, ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, trying to use some Arnica salve and trying to keep it, you know. Did you rub some CBD oil on that thing? I did some hemp. Arnica combination and uh, yeah. clove. We had some hemp, clove, Ooh, right. arnica, and that kind of helped, kind of warm it up and stuff like that. So, That's good. Yeah, it's coming along. I mean, you know, again, I'm slow still slow and steady. Slow baby. and steady. Easy peasy. I took yesterday off because I thought it would probably be best. Yep. Yep. Makes and, sense. And uh, I decided to do it. And I was really tired, so I was like, you know, I don't. I'm really tired right now. I don't want to go out there and, you know, turn my heel again. You Hurt know. yourself. Yeah, yeah. Right. How about you? Uh, good week, man. Good yeah. Week. You're so, cranking, huh? Uh, pretty consistent, although I did take this morning off. Uh, we right. talked about that earlier before we started. Miles had a little bit of a rough night last night. Yeah. Not sure what was going on. Just mm -hmm. lost his marbles around two in the morning, three uh -huh. in the morning. Yeah. Happens. Yep. It does. Um, it does. And, uh, so just didn't sleep well, and then it was like really cold this morning, and I got up. It's at, really cold yeah, out there. I got up later than I sh normally do, and so I was like, nah, I think maybe today's a day I'll take off. It's okay. Um, you've been you've been getting it, you know. You've been hitting it. Yeah, so. it was. I've been consistent, so I, I've been doing my usual between three and five every day, um, and then what's nice is on the. Friday, Saturday, and even sometimes during the week, we get an extra little family run time in. Nice. Um, and so that's been nice. Consistency, I find, is key. But then today, yeah. I was like, you know, I feel a little tired. I need a day. I took a day. And you know what, Ray? I'm not going to beat myself up over You're it. You're not going to be. Don't beat yourself up out of it. I, uh, over it. And I did the same thing last night. I was like, mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling it. I had had a streak. Um, 
I'm coming back from the injury and I just decided, you know, I, I, I do need this. My mind and body are mm-hmm. telling me that you know, yeah. I needed it. You need so. it. Sometimes you just need some time. You don't want to do like 10 days of that in a row, but right. you know, right. a, a day here and there is okay. Exactly. So, so hopefully good. I'll get back out there tomorrow, crush another couple miles, and then uh, I'll get back into the rhythm, man. Yeah. You know? I'm getting out there tonight. I'm gonna I'm break, breaking out my cold weather gear. Yep. It's very cold out there. It's nice and dry, but it's cold. Yeah. Nice and sunny, but it won't be later. And uh, I've got to probably have to wear my running pants, you know, or my tights. Yeah, I had I, Hat, I had all my clothes laid out to run yep. this morning, and I had the tights out. You got to get Hat, that stuff out. Glove, get your gear tights. ready. Get your gear ready. That's it. So, yeah, I mean, it's nice out there. What's what's good about the conditions out here up in New England is that, um, you know, it's it's dry. Mm-hmm. It's not icy yet. Right. But that those days are coming. Mm-hmm. And they can be a drag. They can be tough to maneuver. We've already talked about it in ways that you can keep it safe. But, you know, sometimes you just need to get yeah, off the road. You got to do something else, man. Yeah. Sometimes it's just, it's very, now, okay, if you're living in the Southwest um, and you're not in the mountains, um, or if you're living in the south, like say Florida, then you know maybe you don't have to worry about too much ice and snow. Although you, yeah. you might, you right. might, you might right. in certain spots it happens. But um, I mean, if you're in a cold weather place with ice and snow, that's tough. Right, you might need to find something else to do. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to say, you know, for safety's sake, I'm going to try something else. Right, so right, and yeah, I mean, yeah. you could even fall into this situation if it's dark and you don't usually run in the dark and you're not prepared, yeah. and you find yourself like, ah, oh, crap, I'm not going to be able to get my run in. Here are some other things that you could do yeah. as an alternative yeah. to getting your run in. Exactly. You want to start us off, Ray, with the uh, Well, you know, um, I think that I know a lot of runners who, not every runner, uh, but uh, there are a lot of runners who I think neglect their core, so it's mm. a good opportunity. The winter is a real good opportunity. The darkness and the cold, icy conditions um, are a good opportunity to really get back and get back into the routine of core workouts. Yes, you know. Uh, so you might do your exercises, your core exercises, and you can do those around your house. I mean, you know, right. you don't need a lot of space to do those. So mm-hmm. you can do them in your apartment, your house. Um, so. I mean, I would start with that. The other thing is, yoga is a pretty darn good thing. Yoga. Yep, that for your core and for flexibility, overall flexibility and, and core strength, Just wellness and breathing. General, too. Yeah, exactly. Actually, wellness emotionally, right? Exactly. Spiritually, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a good thing. Uh, my wife is really into yoga, and she is very flexible, and probably more flexible and healthier than I am. Mm-hmm. And you know, she was telling me that there's all sorts of things that you can do, um, like different yoga techniques that you can uh, find or routines that you can find on YouTube. Yep. You know, and you might have a special yoga instructor that you like and they might be doing, you know, something that you might do like a Zoom yeah, yoga. Yeah, like a virtual uh, a class virtual of class. some sort. So there's a lot of that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it's good. And it's, it's different, you know, it's different. <clears throat> I know a lot of folks who run who, you know, do yoga as well and it helps mm-hmm. them so much. So maybe you, you know, you continue doing that if you've been doing that. Um, and if you haven't, then it's a chance well, to do yeah, it. Yeah, mix it in, man. So mix it in. I uh, need to do more yoga. I can, yeah, I mean, I probably I can, can stand to, to do that. lots more. Even but. when like the conditions aren't terrible outside, I should yeah. probably get out there and do some yeah. uh, yoga. Yeah. You know, I was a big fan of yoga. Miles. D- yeah. Yeah. My really. He does like downward dog all the time. My kids do some yoga. Yeah. And there's um, there's a woman named Jamie who does stuff on YouTube and she's fantastic. She does yeah. all sorts of really neat things. Not just she does for adults but for kids. And she'll do like say for instance Star Wars yoga and she'll go through wow, and she'll do yoga cool. based on certain characters and I'll certain have to look scenes. Into that. It's that's fantastic. Fun. And I think that he might like that. My kids were having a blast with it. I'll have to check it out. So yeah. I mean Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's a good thing. Cool. He's also a big fan of yogurt. He likes you I like yogurt too. Specifically vanilla yogurt. He likes vanilla. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> anyway. It's a good thing. Um, so yeah, yoga, yeah, I think, yoga is a Yoga is thing. a great alternative to getting... If you can't get your run in, do a little yoga routine, work some strength in, work some flexibility in. Mm-hmm. That's a great, great way to do it. Yeah. And 
My wife was also telling me, she gave me an idea about this, the HIT training, the high intensity interval training. High intensity interval training. So that might be something to do. That's mm -hmm. a good cardio workout. And it's something that doesn't require a lot of space. And you could do it in your apartment. You could do it in your house, your basement, mm -hmm. you know, living room. And there's also, I guess, lots of really good stuff mm. on um, YouTube. And you can do that virtually as well. So right. that, might, that might be the way to go. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, a little say, hit, little hit workout, little work hit out workout. the core, work out the glutes, the quad, yep. the hammies, the calves, yeah. the, all the and cardio. Groups. So you're doing and kind of all the heart of that. Rate up. Yeah. yeah, dude. I was I did a uh, the coffee talk last week, um, which will drop as a podcast on Friday. Is all about upper body strength. And Mike was talking about core strength specifically and how important the core is to utilize your upper body when you're running. You have to have a strong core to transfer the power from your shoulders, from your pecs, from your arm swing down across your body to the ground to propel yourself forward. So if you have, say you got like these massive seps, huge shoulders, but mm -hmm. your core is a big old tire, mm -hmm. you're not utilizing them, those muscles in your running. Yep. So if you can, you got to work that core to tie in, to transfer that, yeah. and also to keep your posture up and prevent injuries and stuff. So To kind of ma maximize your running experience, make you a stronger right. runner all around. So. Exactly. Cool. Um, and one cool exercise, or not, ex uh, it's like a, it's a machine. All right. Mm -hmm. There's this machine, the rowing machine. Yeah. That I hear is a phenomenal workout. Yeah. Um, so I heard it's a super workout. It's a super workout. It works at everything. Right. We had a dude come in who is, um, I guess he's a salesman at this company in Warren, Rhode Island that sells water rowers. Okay. Um, I've heard of the water rower. Yeah. So he said that. Remember that, uh, not movie, it was like a Netflix series, House of Cards? Yes. So like the main guy would always go in the basement and do the water rower. Okay. And he said his company just blew up after that. And so a lot of people are doing the water rower or the rower in general. Yes. And the and it's it. he said it works 84% of your muscles in your whole body. Holy moly, that's a lot. Yeah. Overwhelming majority. An overwhelming yeah. majority of muscles. And it's a leg workout, it's a core workout, get your arms going, shoulders, your back, your, your back. shoulders, your tongue. Yep. Cardio. Cardio. Yeah. It gets the whole nine. Um, and it's a, uh, I mean, and it's something you can do if you can't get out for a run. You can have it in your house, right. fold it away, tuck it under the bed, or like mm -hmm. fold it up against the wall, bring it out when you need it, and get yeah. after it, yeah. man. It doesn't... I don't think they, your average rowing machine does not take up a lot of space. Not mm -hmm. as much as the treadmill. No, it seems no. to me, right? Um, so it's, it's a, basically like a track with a seat on it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you have like the little part where the cables hook into. Right. And it's either like the water one or it's like a whatever, a different type of, I don't know what the other ones use. But yeah, a rower, man. It's a good thing to have. Yeah. And when I was talking to Mike about the upper body strength for runners, he mentioned rowing as one of the like a fantastic exercise for runners right. um, especially if you are um, able to do like a row on one leg like a single leg row okay so you've got some exercise bands and you like hook it up to like a doorway or something and then you're doing that row and you're alternating legs just like running yeah you know That's so cool. um, but the, the rowing machine, I think, is a really cool exercise that you can do that works a lot of muscle groups to help you as a runner. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they're that expensive. Right. In terms of like right. so, dollars, a, like you could get a, like maybe a thousand bucks, maybe. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, if it's within your means, it's a good thing to do. Um, mm -hmm. there, are, are, there are alternatives, I guess. Some of those um, the companies that sell machines like that, whatever the machines might be, mm -hmm. um, they do like um, payment plans. So yep. you can cover over a period of time. So it's a little more, you know, it's you know, if it's cash flow issue. Um, you, you don't have like a thousand dollars to drop. You could do installments. Yeah, and yeah. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, you could lease. You could. And right. so maybe you're like around here, say you're talking like, 
three to four months of real hardcore stuff going on as far as weather is concerned and More, lack of light. So right. maybe you lease something for three or four months. Um, you could buy something that's refurbished, and so maybe the cost isn't as much. Right. Because the thing is, is there's another safety concern nowadays is the COVID-19 virus. And so a lot of folks mm -hmm. don't want to go to gyms that have these right, equipment. Right. And that's, I mean, it's, it's a shame because there's some really good gyms in the area. And, and you know, you want people to keep going out to those. Mm -hmm. And those gyms are really trying hard to keep it safe as possible. Mm -hmm. But with infection rates being so high, some folks aren't there They're yet. not comfortable yet. Right? Yeah. I'm not saying that they shouldn't go to those places. I'm just saying that... Some people just don't feel comfortable doing that. Right. And so, and so yeah. by doing like those virtual classes or having that rowing machine in your house, yeah. you can get after it. Yeah. And a lot of those gyms are actually doing virtual classes, so you're still helping them with business. Right. And so, you know, um, keeping engaged with them and, uh, you know, supporting those local businesses, mm -hmm. doing things virtually. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. So the rowing machine, that's cool. Rowing machine. The water, the water rower. Specifically the water rower. Yes. Because cool. it supports the local economy. Yes. You want to support your local economy, folks. Heck yeah. So. Um, you got anything else there, Ray? What do you think? Well, um, I do. Uh, other activities I think that I found that really, really helped me um, when I can't necessarily get out there in the icy conditions on the streets mm -hmm. um, are I really love cross country skiing. It's a really good Ooh, workout. Yeah, right? that's a heck of a workout. Total right. and, body sitch. Right. So, I mean, with me, it's like, you know, the snow comes and maybe the streets um, aren't safe enough because there's, you know, ice and snow, but mm -hmm. you get out to a golf course. Go ham on some cross boom. country skiing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, you know, I've got a um, state forest near me. Boom, cross country course right there. And you know, there's some technical stuff, but there's some pretty mm -hmm. um, mellow stuff too. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You, know, you do have to yeah, be yeah. cautious out there, and, um, but it's, it's a good workout. Right, I know that there's yeah. uh, a lot of professional runners who do that as like an alternative workout in the winter time too. There's a dude, right. Ben True, I think is his name. Yes. He's on the magazine over there. Yeah. Um, yep. He used to, I think in high school or something, he was a cross country skier yeah. and then flipped. I, yeah, I believe that Scott Jurek, mm -hmm. um, a, you know, a very famous um, ultra um, runner, yeah. is or was really big into Nordic skiing, right? Yeah, Cross yeah, country yeah. skiing, and but and that's what he was into. I think as a as a young guy, and uh, I think before he got into running, but I'm mm -hmm. not positive. But I know that he did that, and I mean, that's man. You want to talk about some fit folks, dude? Probably some, the some, fittest folks on the planet. Yeah. So it's it's a great workout, and get you off the roads. You know what I mean? And the thing mm -hmm. is, is you know, you, you've got to you've got to find the time to do it. Right. Obviously, no one's going to go. And the space to do it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But hey, you know, um, there's a spot around here. It's um, it's a boulevard, and it has a nice path through it. And you know, on a snowy day or a snowy evening, you can get out there and do some cross country skiing, and it's it's nice. So right. You got to find your spots. That's you know what I mean? Man. You yeah. got to find your spots. And you could like there are some fun spots to do it you see some new scenery maybe you yeah. take a trip to like a park and yeah. you know go go cross-country skiing around there yeah i know there's a really um there are a lot of them up in up north you know northern new england um where like i say for instance new hampshire they've got some really nice nordic centers mm -hmm. that you can go to and they focus just in on cross-country skiing and you can go there you yep. can rent you can rent the equipment yeah and yeah. uh you could socially distance uh and you can get out in the woods you know and have a good time, get some exercise Heck in. yeah, dude. Cross-country mm -hmm. skiing. Can I, like, kind of piggyback on that? Yes. And this was actually, I know, on your list. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I'm going to steal it, though. Tip, please. Snowshoeing. And I'm going to add to it. Yeah, I love snowshoeing. It's another great That's great another activity. awesome, great way to get <clears throat> out, get a hard effort in. Yes. In terrible conditions. Right. You can, Again, you can get out into a... a I mean, golf course, you can get out in, in the woods, you know, um, conservation land, anywhere, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could go snowshoeing on a sidewalk and stay off the road. Right. You know, and it's, you can hike, you can walk, mm -hmm. um, you can get some poles, and so you're going to get your shoulder and arm workout. And yep. um, you can run in snowshoes, too. People do it. Yeah. The, a regular pair is yep. a little bit, you know, a little bit bulky, so, but you can do it. Yeah. And they do make special like racing racing snowshoes. running snowshoes a little yeah. tapered in the back so a little more sleek you don't you know it's a little faster than um, a regular snowshoe and it's great 
Yeah, I know that when there isn't a pandemic, they have snowshoe races around yes. here. Yes. They have like a whole series. That's totally which cool. Which is pretty fun. So it's another you know, an opportunity to get off the icy streets. Right, right. And I've got two pairs of snowshoes. I love them. I do. I got my cross-country skis. I have them ready to go. Mm, I dusted them off. It's really good like quad workout, right? Like Excellent. Like quad hammies get all fired up with that yep. snowshoe action. Yeah. I've never done it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go I'm on. gonna, I'm gonna, I'll loan you a pair of mine. They're not that expensive. You can get a used pair. You can get a brand new pair. Um, and also, too, the first time I went, I rented them. Interesting. I rented them from Easter Mountain Sports, EMS. Um, I'm sure you could probably find them at a REI too for for to be able to, maybe to rent them. And yep. I just used them for a weekend and I got hooked. So I bought a pair. Right. Or you could take your tennis rackets and strap you them. You could your definitely feet. do it. I <laughs> think that's how they. That's how they work, right? It's like well, a tennis racket. Some exactly. Some of them look like the the wooden ones with the rawhide yeah. um, laces um, and straps. I kid, um, by the way. Don't they do look that. like don't do that. tennis. You'll fall over. You will. You fall You probably over. hurt yourself. It reminds me of a time that I did go out in Western Mass with my cousin, and he didn't have a pair of snowshoes. He was hiking. I was using my snowshoes, mm -hmm. and so he found some tree limbs, pine tree limbs, on the ground, yeah. and he strapped them to his feet with some cord that he had. In his pocket, and he was wow. using those. He's like, "Yeah, I'm doing it like the Native Americans used to." I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, okay, he's like all right. Mr. MacGyver out <laughs> there, huh? Mr. MacGyver. Yeah. It was really silly. It didn't work as nice uh, <laughs> as the high-tech, you know, snowshoes that I had. But right, he was. We were laughing about it. Well, that's fun. That's so. fun. Cool. Can I uh, throw one more thing at you? Of course. Um, throw it at. We lay talked, it on me. We talked a little bit about like the virtual classes thing. Yeah. You know, um, and. I swear, not like a day goes by here at the store where I don't hear somebody talking about their Peloton. Yeah, that's huge. Like, I hear it's, it is like a community. It's a community. And of, it's a international community. Right. And it's like, you can get a treadmill. They make a treadmill. They have a treadmill. Or an exercise bike. Exercise bike, yeah. I don't know if they have other things. But they have those specific tools that you can use to help uh make your run more social more fun right you know i mean you could actually there are i think um certain workouts that you can do on your own and i think some of them are like pre-recorded and you can go actual live yeah right? like they You're have live, live classes and you got with people doing instructors it. with instructors and other people in real time and they'll shout you out yeah they would be like hey eric why are you going so slow you <laughs> Yeah. Pick it up, you jerk. Eric in Rhode Island, why are you going so slow? <laughs> Ray in Rhode Island, why are you just standing there? <laughs> Ray, I mean, come on, Ray, man. what's going on? Why hey, you man. Watching <laughs> what are you doing? You texting your friend? You're supposed to be working out here. So they keep you engaged. They keep you engaged. And they keep you not just engaged, but moving. And holding you accountable. You yes. know? You, some people need that. Like this guy. Yeah, I guess I do too. You know? I have to admit. But the Peloton, and I feel like there's not just that specific company that does it. There's probably a lot of different alternatives. Yes. And like you were saying, I think some of the local small group gyms are doing stuff like that. So yeah. if you have, say, an exercise bike at home or a treadmill at home, maybe you set up the iPad or whatever on there, yep. and uh, they'll do like a virtual class that way. Do a virtual class that way. We know people who do uh, virtual boot boot camp classes mm -hmm. and that's another yeah that's another killer workout right there boot cardio camp. and yeah. uh, you know everything else they don't core. call it boot camp for nothing you nope. know it's a hard workout man yeah so there's a lot of alternatives to getting out there in the uh, icy dark winter weather and to, to be safe to be safe right and it is a good time you know what i mean i mean you know how runners are i mean how we are it's like not much can replace running right but hey sometimes you got to be really careful and it's and, true, and that's why the winter is a really good opportunity to maybe get back to you know the core workouts mm -hmm. um maybe get back to or not necessarily get back to but try new things like yeah. try yoga yeah try it out maybe you you'll know. love it yeah maybe, maybe. you maybe you're gonna do some rowing right maybe you turn into an olympic rower yeah you know what i gotta say too i mean you probably talk to some rowers who are hardcore and they're out there as long as the um right here we've got rivers as mm -hmm. long as the rivers and and some places lakes aren't frozen they're out there they're man. out there Bundled even if it's up. cold so get you off the streets right right get you off the streets so maybe you want to do that we have a local um rowing club 
uh, here in town, and um, mm -hmm. they're very accommodating, friendly people. Yep. Um, I always, I'm, uh, members are always asking me to come on out. They have open houses, and I say, you know, anytime you want to come out, come on out and give it a try. And they do it through the winter as long as they can. They do, so yeah. So that's a good opportunity to get out there and try something new and discover something that you really like. Yeah. Um, so absolutely, I, mean, I think that's pretty hardcore. Like paddlers too, kayakers who get out yeah, there too. Yeah, you don't you don't have to worry about as much traffic out there. No. Just like ducks. I mean, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> just like the old duckaronis. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, row. Row. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> um, I think we might have to wrap this sucker up, yeah, my friend. Yeah, I think so. I think we're getting about time to go to work. Duty calls, and we have to get, you know, we, gotta get we have to get into rolling. the duty. Do the duty. <laughs> we have to get, well, we have to, duty calls, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we got to go to work. I'm getting a little, like, a little... Slap happy right now. Because <laughs> it's cool. been a fun time. It's just been a fun These episode. I episodes like this Episodes are one. fun. I like this. Doing the podcast is fun. I enjoy it. So, And I hope that those listening enjoyed it half as much as I do. At least. You yes. Know? Half as much as we do. And if they like it half as much as we do, then, then, this is, then it makes it worth it. Exactly. It makes it worth it and we're happy. If we could help just one person. One person. A half a person. If we could help a half a person... Job well done. Right. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Um, but anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. Um, Thank you, folks. And uh, you know what to do. Keep running. Because it's good for you. <laughs> nothing like a Duncan, huh? You know, nothing like a Duncan. Nothing like a Duncan. Do you know what I was? Uh, I noticed? You know their slogan is America runs on Duncan? Yeah. If you get rid of the A and the M, it says Eric uh, runs on Duncan. Eric uh, runs on Duncan, or it could be Erica runs on Duncan, right? Right. So, so you got two names yeah. covered. Right. Male and female. Yep. And there's a lot of Erics and Ericas out there. It's true, man. It's brilliant. This guy. Right yeah. Here. Duncan's is so good. Dude.